Oh, hi. I'm Phil Adamo. I teach history here at Augsburg College, and I'm part of the new learning community, Fate of the Earth 101. I want to talk today a little bit about mass media, which is one of the topics we'll be covering. Come a little bit closer. I just want to show you something. It's on the internet. This is from Barack Obama's webpage for the 2008 election, and here's Barack Obama. You notice that he's looking off into the distance. He's clearly showing us that he's got some vision for the future. He's also posed in front of the American flag, showing us that he's very patriotic. Now, that doesn't seem like such a big deal, especially when you look at John McCain. Kane's webpage. He's also looking off into the future. He's also posing in front of the American flag. And what both of these guys are trying to tell us is patriotism and vision are important and they're using images to influence the voters. Now you might think in the age of the internet this is a new idea to use mass media in this way. But it's actually very old. Follow me and I'll show you. In 3000 BC there was a king of Egypt, a guy named Narmer. And you already know this guy if you've seen the mummy movies. Narmer is also known as the Scorpion King. Now I want to show you a picture of a very famous piece of artwork that's called the Narmer Palette. It's a palette actually that someone would use to crush minerals to make makeup. You've all seen Egyptians with big lines under their eyes and that's what the Narmer Palette was used for. But the Narmer Palette has political images on it. Here's Narmer and you can tell from the hieroglyphs above his name. It says Narmer right there. And here's a picture of Narmer in a very famous pose that all of the pharaohs after him use. It's called the smiting pose. Narmer has a big stick with a rock tied to it and he's holding on to the hair of his enemy. He's gonna smash this guy's head in at any second, unless the guy's able to plead for mercy. Every king after Narmer, who's the first king of Egypt to unite Upper and Lower Egypt, every king uses this image, and they're all standardized. You can't really tell one king from another, but you can tell that it's the king, and he's showing his power. Now, let me show you another picture, because that's actually not mass media. It is using an image to try to show you how powerful the king is. But they're not mass producing these makeup palettes, right? It's one palette, the Narmer palette. Sometimes you'll see the smiting pose, right? Smashing in the head of your enemy. Inscribed into the sides of stone buildings, on the sides of temples. And this is very exciting, but still you can't imagine that everybody in the kingdom is going to see this. I want to show you where mass media really begins. Let's see, it's right down this way. Alexander the Great the greatest ruler, conqueror of his day. Conquers territory from modern day Greece all the way through Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, all the way over to India. It's the biggest empire of the ancient world in 330 BC. Here's a picture of Alexander and look what he's doing. Look at the images that he's employing. He's wearing a diadem on his head. It's like a crown. It says, I'm the emperor, I'm the ruler. But he's also got a picture, in the picture, of a horn, the horns of Zeus Ammon on his head. And he's saying, I am the ruler, but I'm also a god on earth, and you have to pay attention to me. Now why is this mass media? Because it's on money. And everybody who trades throughout the empire has to use this money, and every time they use the money, they see the picture of Alexander. So every time they buy or sell something, they're saying, they're looking at this picture and they're saying, Alexander's the ruler, he's the guy we've got to subject ourselves to, and Alexander is exerting himself using this power. Now think about that. Every time you buy a newspaper, a cup of coffee, you're using money, and there's a picture of a ruler on our money. This is an idea that goes back to Alexander, the first user of mass media. That's the kind of stuff we're going to deal with in Fate of the Earth 101. I'll hope to see you there.